I was expecting the mic. <laughs> okay, <laughs> like, like, be a bit more relaxed, okay. You take the creases out of the shirt and stuff, yeah? Could you do that in post? It's nice to say, mm. nothing to worry about. It's mm. a really informal mm. chat. Mm. Toby was born in August 2016. It was really hot. Uh, it was a big heat wave. And it was honestly wonderful when he arrived. He was just, just seemed like such a bundle of energy and robust. And, you know, uh, you know he, was a, he was a big boy when he was born. We'd been wanting to have a baby for quite a long time, actually. So it felt just like the most amazing thing, really. I mean, it's all of the cliches, I suppose. It's kind of your world just comes crashing down. It's, uh, you know, any sort of cancer diagnosis at any sort of stage in life is clearly horrific. Um, but it's just not something that, that, that you would expect with a little baby who's, who seemed, you know, so full of energy and, and full of life. We were told, sort of, that he had this really horrible disease, that it needed systemic chemo, it's very hard for me to remember exactly what those moments were like because I just, that was just the worst day of my life. They said that they had worked out that she had something called juvenile myelomonocytic leukemia, for which they realized that the only cure would be a bone marrow transplant. The haematologist walked in and, and he said, hello, I'm Mike, I'm a haematologist. And I straight away said, oh God, is it leukaemia? And he said, we don't know that yet, we haven't tested, but we're thinking it could be. I think for Toby, we were actually quite relieved when treatment started because, to be honest, the disease had escalated so much. But then you have to sort of steady the ship because two weeks later is when the effects of the chemo really start to kick in. And that means that his, his immune system has been absolutely stripped. When we were admitted into hospital that first day, she was dancing, she was singing, she was playing with her books, with her toys, with her penguin, and she was a happy child. And within <clears throat> seven days, I would say she was immobile and very, very, very ill. He had to have just an insane amount of pain, sort of go through every painkiller that you could imagine to manage his pain. Like, I also understood when he was in pain and it was so obvious to me. Ironically, he wasn't in pain because the cancer was putting him in pain. He was in pain because of the chemotherapy. The balance when treating leukemia is you have to give enough treatment to kill all the cancer cells, but the cost of that is the toxicity of the treatment which these children undergo. The window of opportunity to cure a child um, is set on one side with disease and on the other side with toxicity, and you have to get, you have to kind of post the children through that little letterbox of opportunity to get them through to a cure. The toxic level of the drugs meant that she got, I mean, ki kidneys were impaired, she got liver disease, she got double pneumonia twice. We made a choice to put these drugs into her. We had no choice, but it was still something that we had, we had to do. It is powerful when you see these young children having to deal with what they deal with and how they overcome the day-to-day -day challenges and the bravery that that takes to front up every day. 
He was just making the doctors smile and laugh like he was six weeks old, but like a doctor would stick his tongue out at him and he would stick his tongue back and then smile and laugh. You know, we took so much strength from his approach and his, the way that he kind of dealt with what life was throwing at him. Children are amazing because, you know, even though they're going through the worst of things, you know, they'll often be smiling, playing, doing normal things that babies do. So sometimes you walk into the cubicle and you almost have to take a step back that you can't believe. One, this child has a devastating illness, and two, they're receiving such horrendous toxic therapy. What actually is there is a world where parents are living there, like day in, day out, trying to manage this treatment that their children are going through in really difficult circumstances, sleeping on a camp bed if they're lucky. We would take it in turns, so I would do a stint of four days and then Paddy would take over for the weekend so that one person could look after the other children. That was really, really tough as a family, just trying to, just trying to manage and retain some hope that it was all going to be worth it. It's the staff and it's the play team on the ward that keep you going. You know, they become the people that you rely on and they also become the people that you don't have to explain anything to. So Toby had two courses of, of, of the most potent chemotherapy you could imagine and uh, relapsed on New Year's Day 2017. The time came that we decided to stop his treatment. And actually, they made it that we could go up to the roof, uh, even though he was basically still having life support. And it was a really sunny day. And we took off his mask then on his tube. And he died on the roof at Gosh under the sun. So it was sad but beautiful. It was lovely to see her slowly but surely find herself again and we could be a family again, albeit with medicines and hospital visits, but day by day and week by week, she rebuilt her strength and we did get out the other side. We aren't through where we are officially out the other end, but we are deeply happy. We are deeply happy and grateful and celebrating him for all the people that have come together to help him. If he wasn't with us for long, but, you know, uh, yeah, the impact that, that he's made and, and hopefully his legacy for the, for the future will, will be all about hope and other kids not having to go through the, the same thing, so. I certainly couldn't have endured what he endured and still smiled at the end of the day, but he did. So I think really it's about making sure that we do what we can in our own small way to create some change um, and make the lives of other children better uh, in Toby's name, but also for every child who's ever had to go through it. <laughs>